Plymouth Valley Cellars in Fairview, Oklahoma with owner Dennis Flaming. Dennis, thank you for having us here today. You're welcome. Glad to have you here today. So how long have you been in the winery business? Uh, we started growing grapes in uh, 2001 and uh, just kept adding on a little bit each year and and uh, we're up to just under five acres now or just under 6,000 vines mm -hmm. and um, so we're slowly getting started and and mm -hmm. uh, how did you get interested in growing grapes well I used to do custom grain harvesting and farming for uh, 37 years and mm -hmm. when that become less profitable I looking for something to diversify to keep the family farm going and um, mm -hmm. um, I've had several people tell me that uh, you know this is a new industry and uh, we want to um, give it a shot and try it and, and okay. see what you know because I like to grow things and and I like to be out in the open and and um, so uh, that's how, how we got started okay now a lot of people don't associate with Oklahoma with uh, wine production what are some of the challenges of growing grapes here in Oklahoma well here in western Oklahoma uh, we have a lot of hot dry weather we'll have some nights when the temperature doesn't get below 90 degrees and the, and the plants want to keep it growing. Mm -hmm. In California and some of the other places they cool off at nights okay. and the plant gets to rest. And uh, so here we don't, so we try to water in, in late afternoons and, and cool the ground off and, and um, try to uh, increase our cool temperature. Okay, interesting. And how many different varieties of grape do you have growing here? We have uh, 13 different varieties of wine grapes and uh, four varieties of uh, table grapes with uh, smaller um, acreage on the table grapes. Okay, very good. And you produce uh, your own wine from these yes. grapes? Yes, we make, we make our wine. Uh, mm -hmm. We got about a half acre of each, so we gives us uh, five, 600 bottles of each variety to sell and then gives us a larger selection to offer in the, in the winery. Excellent. Now your winery is also a tourist destination and you have some plans for that. You want to share some of those? Uh, yes, we want to become a tourist destination. Uh, we're putting in some uh, RV parking spots. Uh, there are present uh, winery building we're going to convert into a country stay mm -hmm. and we're in the process of building a new 60 by 85 building and uh, we want to have um, some catering, mm -hmm. um, outside meals, uh, weddings, uh, birthday parties, uh, Okay. anniversary and any other special occasion you want to think of. Excellent and you know are there some good resources for those growing grapes here in Oklahoma? Um, yes there is. Um, mm -hmm. um, there's uh, four uh, vineyards and wineries here in northwest Oklahoma okay. and we're working with each other and, and uh, trying to develop a, a wine trail Okay. and just for northwest Oklahoma and um, we're all working together on that and promoting each other and we have brochures inside of the other wineries and and uh, helping each other out and and uh it's not competition it's uh helping each other along well, collaboration and, um, people want to come out and see different things so they can go from one place to the next and and uh, get their uh, uh, discount that uh, mm -hmm. when they get the last card punched <laughs> so to speak uh, another one of the resources that uh, we have available in the state is the Oklahoma State uh, class uh, of grape growing. Uh, we started out and my wife took the first class and I took the second and uh, fourth class. So trying to increase mm -hmm. and the manual that we took got twice as thick between my fourth <laughs> class and my wife's first class. So uh, they're also learning and uh, improving and, and uh, helping us growers out. And uh, they come out and they've been out several times and, and when we have disease problems that we cannot identify or we take a picture of it, and email it to them or we catch a bug and take a picture and then we mm -hmm. send the actual bug to them and they tell us what our problems are and, and what we need to be spraying for. And, and um, so they've been very good to, to help us out. Okay. And there's also an Oklahoma. Uh... Uh, yes, there's also a um, Oklahoma Grape Growers Association, uh, about 120 some members. And uh, there's 55 licensed wineries in Oklahoma now, probably 55 plus, but, um, and we help each other out. It, it's not uh, considered to be competition. It's a matter of just helping each other out and, and mm -hmm. uh, pushing this uh, budding venture along. And um, the, the public are, is really uh, starting to take place and, and take hold and they're coming out and visiting and, 
we do the majority of our sales right out of our own winery out here in the country and it's um, it's uh, interesting and amusing to visit with all the different people and and um, you hear stories from them and and of course you always got your own detail but uh, Absolutely. And promoting your own product excellent well i really appreciate you having us out here today thank you very much for uh, giving us a little tour thank you <laughs>